There's a communist link in the White House. You're, you're saying that when you knew Barack Obama, uh, he talked uh, as a Marxist would speak, and he praised the Soviet Union, and he had problems with America. My most vivid memory is how insistent he was in arguing a Marxist-Leninist point of view. He made a very principled, dedicated, impassioned argument that, in fact, a real revolution was coming, and that, in a sense, we should all get on board and prepare ourselves. Why aren't people shocked or something? Why aren't people up in arms? Does anyone read history or see red flags or hear alarms? But the question I do want SCI you to ask yourselves is not who's talking about your agenda, but who can change our politics in Washington so we can actually make your agenda a reality. We're trying to use the power of persuasion. And if that doesn't work, we're going to use the persuasion of power. We took names. We watched how they voted. We know where they live. I'm totally involved in distorting the political system, you know, with contributions. You know, that's, that's what we've become in America, so we have to do that. Andrew Stern visited the White House 22 times. But here's the catch. Although Stern's union is lobbying for health care reform, Stern technically isn't because he's not a registered lobbyist. He deregistered in 2007. The Americans for Tax Reform and the Alliance for Worker Freedom say that's a violation of the Lobbying Disclosure Act. I probably wouldn't be standing here if it hadn't been for the SEIU endorsement. His grandparents were socialists, his mother was, his father was a communist. And so all of a sudden we are witnessing the first new American economic plan led by the government not necessarily led by the private sector. You know, workers of the world unite. <laughs> it's not just a slogan anymore, it's a way we're going to have to do our work. And clearly government has a major opportunity uh, to distribute wealth, which is a fundamental different philosophy than we've seen in our country up to date. Your agenda has been my agenda in the United States Senate. Before debating health care, I talked to Andy Stern and SEIU members. He um, had the government take over the banks and the car industry, and now he's trying to jam down our throat socialized medicine. We created global trade, we created global finance, we created global companies, but we forgot to create a global government. Our ability to govern ourselves doesn't keep pace with our ability to to exercise power. So I think you need a, a new world order that China has to be part. Buying political power. Factor has been investigating far-left billionaire George Soros, a man who wants to impose a radical left agenda on America. The goal of George Soros, Peter Lewis, Susie Tompkins Buell, and other radical financiers is to buy a presidential election. Now here's a chart of how Soros and a few other wealthy radicals who help him are funneling money into the political process. Almost unlimited funding. George Soros is really the Dr. Evil of the whole world of left-wing foundations. He can demand that politicians running for office do what he tells them to do. We have a big problem. Global warming requires big investment. Adjusting your lifestyle where energy is, is got to cost more, so it will be painful. Climate change is a great example. Under my plan, electricity rates would necessarily skyrocket. <laughs> the, the system we have now has actually broken down, only we haven't uh, quite recognized it. And so you need to create a new one. And this is the time uh, to do it. And welcome to socialism. We're going to California and Texas and New York and we're going to South Dakota and Oregon and Washington and Michigan and then we're going to Washington D.C. to take back the White House. Yeah! There's a communist living in the White House.